Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how to get started with BigQuery. If you need to store and analyze large amounts of data, BigQuery is a go-to tool for data management. So I'll show you what it is, how it works, and how you can take your first steps. Without further ado, let's get started. BigQuery is Google's fully managed data warehouse, which is designed to help you store and analyze data. Since BigQuery is serverless and fully managed, you don't need to worry about the operational overhead and the infrastructure management. Google takes care of it for you. You can store massive data sets and gain valuable insights from large amounts of data quickly and efficiently. In BigQuery, data is organized into a hierarchy of projects, data sets, and tables. Projects are the top-level container that can hold multiple data sets and tables. Here, you can group multiple data sets together. A data set can contain multiple tables in a folder, and tables contain data structured in rows and columns, similar to a spreadsheet. So each project can contain multiple data sets, and each data set can hold multiple tables. To analyze the data, BigQuery supports standard SQL syntax. You can write SQL queries to filter, aggregate, join, sort, and manipulate data across tables. Although projects and data sets allow you to organize tables and folders, you will always analyze your data from the tables when you run queries. Now that you know how BigQuery works, I'll walk you through the steps to get started. Once you sign up and go to your workspace, you'll be able to see your projects on the left-hand side of the screen. When you click on a project, you'll visualize all the data sets it contains. If you click on a data set, you'll see all the tables in that folder. If you click on the star next to a project, a data set or a table, you will add it to your favorites. I'll pick a table and click on it. This will open the table in a tab. When this happens, you'll see the table schema. The schema describes the structure of the table. Here, you'll be able to visualize the column names and the data types. Some of the common data types are strings, integers, floats, booleans, dates, and timestamps, just to name a few. By clicking on details, you'll get more information about the table, such as the table ID when it was created and the last time it was modified. You can click preview if you want to preview data. This is a great way to get familiar with the data you'll be working with. As you can see, we'll be able to visualize the table data. It resembles a spreadsheet with all these columns and rows of data. Now, if you wanted to query data, you can click here on query and open a new tab. When we write queries, we can analyze large data sets to identify patterns and trends, gain actionable insights from data, and make informed decisions. To write a query, we'll need to use SQL. Here I can type the column names or add an asterisk if I want BigQuery to return all columns. When I click Run, BigQuery will execute the query and return the data. If you want to learn BigQuery SQL and start writing your first queries, click the link in the description below. That's how you can get started with BigQuery. Check out our other videos, subscribe to our channel, or visit SheetGo.com for more spreadsheet-based automation ideas. Thanks for watching and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video.